Well, I Mitch, first things first, what was your reaction when uh, when you got the news about Devontae? Well, I was disappointed. I, uh, you know, anytime someone decides to transfer, you know, it's a difficult thing. Um, you know, he's, he's basically, uh, you know, it's, it's 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 a homesickness thing. I mean, he just wants to be close to the home. I don't think it really has anything to do with basketball. It's more of an issue with, um, you know, his mom and his two younger brothers. And, you know, they don't get to see him play. I mean, they haven't been in one game. So I think it's it's that, more, you know, that really is what is triggering the transfer. When did he tell you he was going to transfer? I actually, uh, I, I talked to him yesterday about it. You know, and uh, also spoke to his mother. I think they made a decision at uh, some point yesterday. And, uh, you know, I spoke to the mom first, and then Devontae and I spoke, and then uh, you know, the decision had been made by uh, yesterday. Had he been, Mitch, had he been hinting that he was you know, a little homesick uh, throughout the, the last couple of weeks? Or? A little bit. You know, I mean, he was going through what every freshman goes through. He, he's far from home. Uh, he's very close to his mother, you know, and, and he's got two brothers that he's very close to. One's in high school and one's six years old. So he, yeah, I think I think that became more of an issue as, as he was away. You know, his mom hadn't been here to a game. So I had inklings of it about a week ago, but I didn't think it was uh, at this point until yesterday. When you recruited him last spring, did you have any indications then that it might be a problem for him leaving Akron and coming here and being away from his family? Well, Mark, as you know, with, with kids, when they go far from home, there's always that issue, especially... Um, Freshman year, you know, because it's difficult. They're, they're they're probably not having as much success in the court, you know, as they think they should be. And they, you know, Devontae was going through what every freshman goes through. You know, I mean, it's, it's it is it is what it is. But uh, you know, he was far from home. He is close to his mother. He's close to his two brothers, and and I think that triggered. Uh, you know, it just it didn't get any better. You know, he just felt that uh, he really missed them and wanted to be close to home. Coach, how quickly do you focus or switch your focus, I guess, to the team now realizing how difficult it could be even just to practice with the numbers you have? Well, you're a good question because um, obviously it completes us even further. You know, with, with uh, Trinity's not back yet practicing, so uh, it does. I mean, it really affects our practices. Uh, you know, we've got to use Craig Carter the last two days um, to practice. Um, you know, and he was a guy playing a lot of minutes. Yeah. You know, he was a he was he was playing minutes. So, you know, you also lose lose that. You know, you lose the fact that he's a guy that I was counting on to play. You know, 20, 25 minutes. Is there a thought to an open tryout of any sort, for, just for practice bodies? Uh, we, we, we I haven't thought of much about it. You know, this just came about pretty quickly. Yeah. So, you know, is, is that something we might we might look at that? You already said Himes was playing too many minutes for your liking. What do you do now that now that you're back on point guard? Well, that's a good, you know, we're going to have to probably use Downey there. You know, and obviously that's going to take away from his real game, which is a scorer. But I really have no other choice. Uh, you know, Himes is, really is playing too many minutes, and my, his minutes might even go up now. Mitch, is there any part of you that when things like this happen, in this case you just look at it and you go, what, what's going on and you know, when are we going to catch a break? Well, you, you, yeah. I mean, with, with the state of the team, I mean, this is not what we needed. But, uh, you know, I also feel bad. I mean, I, I recruited Devontae. I was, uh, you know, involved with him. I've coached him for three months. I mean, I'm looking at it from a, you know, am I disappointed? Yeah, but I also, you know, sometimes understand what these kids go through. And uh, it's unfortunate, you know, you, you put time into a kid. You know, we were playing him a lot. It wasn't like he wasn't playing. And I think he was getting better. He played well in the UMass game. So it, 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 it's a shame. I mean, I, I just, uh, but, you know, I, there's only so much I can do. I mean, I can try and talk to him, but, you know, they'd already made, he, he and his mom had already made a decision. Yeah, was there an attempt to try to get him to just stick it out for the rest of the year, Mitch? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I talked to him about, you know, looking at the whole picture and that sometimes, you know, freshmen, you know, look at things kind of in, 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 right away instead of looking at the long term, you know, and, uh, but we couldn't get by the homesickness. I mean, that was really an issue. He really misses his mother. And, and like I said, he has two younger brothers that went to all his high school games, and now they haven't been to one game. So, you know, that, that's an issue. This is uh, at a time when it looked like you were, you know, you got Owen back, you're getting Trinity back soon. You know, it looked like maybe you were back to 100% in terms of healthy bodies. I mean, this really, I guess, is a 
a setback just in terms of having depth, you know, again being an issue here? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, you take a 23-minute player out of the lineup, um, Trinity's not back yet. You know, he hasn't practiced yet, so I don't know when, you know, when he is going to be back. Okay. So, I mean, right now we're down to seven scholarship players, and you got to hope we don't have any injuries, any more injuries or, or sickness, because we're, now we're talking about, you know, having five or six guys. Mitch, have you guys started to put any thought into where that extra scholarship is now going to go? Do you start the search immediately to, to fill that empty position? Well, we'll take a look at uh, that. You know, I haven't looked at it right immediately, but we will, and probably try and fill it. But we also have a team where, uh, you know, we're all young, and we don't want to bring somebody in just to bring them in. You know, we have a lot of guys next year coming back, so we'll evaluate it. Did Devonta indicate where he might transfer back home? Uh, I haven't got didn't in? get, get into it uh, with him, Mark. You know, I just, you know, I, I didn't think that was important. What was more important was, you know, coming to some kind of a conclusion, and, and he did. And, uh, you know, we had a good conversation. He's a really nice kid, and I wish him luck. I hope he does well, and uh, wherever he goes. And there were no other issues besides the homesickness that was the sole reason? No, no, I mean, that's, that was it. I mean, basketball is not an issue. Uh, he was happy with the playing time. He, he liked the kids in the team. I thought he was getting better. You know, uh, it, it's just an issue of being homesick. Mitch, you've been doing this coaching for a long time. Does it seem like this happens more now or, you know, than it did in the past? This type of thing? Like you know, I think there's a lot of, reason? there's a lot of Andrew Midia transfers, you know, freshmen, you know, St. John's just lost a really good kid. Uh, he was starting, actually. Uh, you, there are different reasons why it happens. Uh, I mean, can you figure it out? No. I mean, I, in this case, I think it's just a matter of Devante being homesick. You know, he's far from home. Uh, his parents, his, not his parents, his mother, he's very close with her and, and she doesn't get to see him. And, you know, as a human being, you can accept that. I mean, that's something that, you know, he, he really feels strongly about. And, uh, you know, I did, I did say we wanted him. I mean, we didn't push him out the door. We wanted him here. You know, I, I, I thought he would have a good career. But, you know, you couldn't overcome that, that dimension of it, being homesick. So they had not been to a single game in the family? No. The mother, the mother had not. Uh, I spoke to the mother, and she had not seen a minute of, of any of his games, not even on TV or in person. Mitch, have you been able to dr address the other players yet about this? Uh, yeah. Or will, it, will the mentality be kind of, you know, we had seven guys before, and he kind of had to just gut it out, I guess. Yeah, the, the players, we, we discuss moving on, you know, making do with what we have. We can't harp on something that happened. You know, it's, it's over now. You know, he's, he's made the decision. You know, he was close with the other freshmen. You know, they really liked, you know, anytime you come in with a group of freshmen, you know, he was Evan Himes' roommate, and they were close. So it affected him, Evan in terms of just that he's not going to be there anymore. But, you know, we'll move on in terms of basketball. We'll just, you know, make do with the, the seven guys. Hopefully we get Trinity back. That'll hurt, a help. But, it, you know, I don't know what, I don't know when he's coming back. You know, he's, he didn't practice today. So hopefully he gets better. Any sort of timetable on Trinity? I know you, you said you're not really sure, but what have you been hearing that, that gives you hope that it could be a week or two? I, I think, Chris, it's, it's a matter of his comfort level. You know, we don't want to push him back. Our, our, our trainer, Greg Dash, knows we're, we're being cautious. We don't want him to come back and then re-injure it. Uh, the other thing, he's a little bit heavy. You know, he hasn't played in whatever, six months. So we don't want him coming back with the extra weight, putting more weight on his foot. So we got to get his weight down. And then make sure that when he when he is practicing, he's feeling that feeling good.